Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jordan Miles back with some more NAR gameplay. I'm versus Urga in the top lane. Uh, be sure to like to be subscribed to the channel, of course. This is a, a little bit closer matchup than our Shen game in game one. This game is a Urga versus NAR. Uh, NAR has a 49% win rate, roughly. So a little bit worse of a matchup, or a lot worse than Shen, but it, it's a little bit of a skill matchup. Should be okay, though. Still, this looks like we're still in like, bronze games. So we'll just see how quickly we can climb out of these. Hopefully, the the with a fresh account, the early MMR should be highly like um, should move a lot based on our win. So we should get a few wins going, and hopefully it'll climb us up a little bit more. Again, I'd prefer to have started in like gold. It's like my preferred place to start with an account. But that's okay. My wins had actually saved this time. I prefer Fleet Footwork. So we got Fleet Footwork, Triumph, um, Alacrity, Last Stand. You get attack speed. You get move speed. You get sustain. And you get some healing from like Triumph if you get like some kills gone. And then off tree, you have Celerity and Gathering Storm. Gathering Storm can be flexed out. I like Celerity a lot. You could also go Green Tree with like something like a second wind, um, Demolish, depending on the matchup you're into. But Celerity, you get so much movement speed from like items and from your W in this in this uh, on this character. So really like the the uh, Celerity to get a lot of move speed. Be highly effective. Not being any, not doing anything crazy right now. So select their jungler shot at bot side. My jungler shot at top side. So I'm gonna be weak sided here at the early part of the game. Okay. See you there. Wow, really bad trade. We don't. Want get, we'd want to not get hit by, of course, our guys flip. And then the longer, because of the runes, he's running Conquer and running uh, Fleet Footwork. We don't really like long fights, actually. Also, again, uh, I mentioned this a lot in the first video, but Gnar is really meant to be, you know, versus someone who has a lot of health. He's a really tanky, like a bruiser -y kind of champion. You really want to do most of your damage in mini -nar. You want to do most of the fighting in mini -nar, and then you want to use Mega -nar as, like, the finisher. You saw there I used Mega -nar as, like, the beginning portion, and that wasn't very good. Now, I remember what I said about jungler uh, presence. Like, look where my jungler is right now. He just cleared his whole jungle and now he's recalling. Lee Sin should have cleared his old jungle in the same amount of time and you can expect him to be top side. He's probably top scuttle or looking for a top lane play on me. So I just want to be cognizant of that. Like uh, I can kind of defer where their jungler might be based on where my jungler went. Now, if my jungler had gone for uh, scuttle and Lee Sin wasn't there then that would tell me even more info but uh, Kane seemed to be afraid to go for his bot scuttle on the off chance that he ran into Lee Sin which Kane is definitely we could then Lee Sin early so it's understandable. Pretty, pretty chill so far. I'm kind of playing it chill just because I've been talking a lot. I wanted to cover some things. What I want to do is try to bait out the... Um... Yep. Oh, got the flash. I should win that, right? Again, What I, I should have done one more auto attack in Mininar to get the, the triple W off. But it's okay. The Wincon, as you can see, is very much focused on, you know, on starting Mininar and dodging or got abilities there, dodge the Q and then the E. That puts him in a really bad spot and he has to force the flash. I don't know where Lee Sin went off that um that mid lane play. I'm still very afraid that he might come top, so I'm gonna chill. Keep working on the Sergot. I talked a lot about the ability, so if you're interested in like what abilities what my abilities do on NAR. Uh, be sure to check out the first video. Oh, I wanted to do the Q backwards snipe, but it was... I, I don't know how... I don't really know how the NAR... I guess it pulls back on based on where you are. Or where you're running to. Yeah, this is where, like... This is where a lot of the times, like, really focus on killing. And I will lose sight of the fact that I could get ganked by the jungler by playing the aggro. I look for a flash old player or something. Oh! Good old man here. They did old man. So scary. Is he actually recalling? If he recalls, I'll recall. Well. I mean, he's just old man. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, he was waiting for mana. Dang it, I want to do the Q backwards snipe. Oh! I don't bot. Okay. No one cares about top laners, so it just works out. Oh, Lee Sin's not down there. I wonder if I could outplay Lee Sin from this position. Oh, I have to run. Oh my gosh, that's so difficult to do. Your Q has a really long range on the back end. Like, let's see if we get. I oh, know. I can win this. Oh, wait. No, please. Okay. Oh my gosh. So difficult. Whew. Okay. Um Yeah, I don't know. I dodged Lee Sinq early. That was important. Dodge a lot of abilities. Stalled it down. Wait for my abilities to come up. Yeah, and that plate probably doesn't work above silver, though. So just keep that in mind. Oops. Dang it. No, come on. Oh, Malphite, you had R. It's okay. Malphite had R, though. He should have run over. We get three men. It's pretty good. But it's not a big deal. I should have reset already, for sure. But if, if I reset and I'm like full HP there, it'll play a lot better. That's my B. Oh, we're back top. I mean, we're up big on CS. We're, we're massive. Like, you should be free. Free game. Whoa! Enemy Rampage, though. Who's on a Rampage? Shaco. Okay, AP Shaco jungle. Or support. I'm not super concerned with that. I had a uh, PTSD of like not pressing the record button. Which on these games where I'm supposed to show every game, no matter what, it's a little scary to. You see here the mini nar just damage output. Good spacing. I don't have ult though. I mean, that's just really a poke. I don't think he has Tully. We should push. If he says we can go for a kill. If he leaves, so we get a few plates. It's pretty good. Yep, he left. We get a few plates. Not bad. Just using uh, movement to bait out. You like you you want to get into like positions where the enemy feels like they should go for their you know movement ability. So like Urgot, you want to bait his E and then just run out of that range. So there's a range where you think he would cast it. You just want to run in and out of that. That's what your your goal is. Okay. Don't know where Lee Sin is. Lee Sin has played the top a little bit. He doesn't really need to play to bot too much because his bot lane is doing well. So I, I end up getting a little bit more pressure because of that. I'm about to go Meganar, but again, I don't really want to like start the fight in Meganar. So this isn't a great Meganar timer, so I'm not going to go all in or anything. Or the ability to clear the minions a little bit. No! Okay, we see Lee Sin bot side. Try to bait his ability. Yeah. I don't want to take too much damage there. Use fleet just to heal off off minions. Oh my gosh, wait, that's actually so scary. If he floats me and then R's me, I think he could have killed. My ego can't handle being solo killed in this lane. Oh, Which actually almost happened earlier. <laughs> the thing was, like earlier when I was baiting the, when I was waiting for him to ult man, he needed mana, but I had flash ready. So if I saw the ult like fly at me, I was just gonna flash it. He's low enough where I might be able to go for a kill here. He should not go on me here. <gasps> wait, 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 no! Ain't no way, man. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's alright. 
I was spamming R and I couldn't get it off. I need to. I think W is a quicker cast time, maybe? I'm not sure if it matters. I think if I could have casted anything, it would have been fine. I don't want to go help out here. I don't think they're going to stop. I don't think no R. Ooh, wait, this is getting kind of scary, actually. I need to not make mistakes. Did they do wolves? He does wolves greedy. I can go for it. Have anything? Ignite was not necessary, but that's okay. I'm gonna hit one of these just to get the movement speed so I get back to lane quicker. At least in bot side. Or I can take fights pretty quickly. Let's avoid grubs. I don't have ward. I can kill from this position. It's pretty high. Uh, pretty uh, far ahead. Nice. Oh, just a minion. Minus one. Try to poke with Qs. Qs do a lot of damage. Is that move speed? The gap close a little bit? Nice. There we go. Oh! Decent flash. No way, bro. Okay, cool. I should have tanked that, just so that. Oh. No! Smite, really? Oh my gosh. Dang, I shouldn't have. Dude, wait, the 40 damage kills him? That's whatever, we can kill him pretty easily. We have teleport and spawn. Oh. Oh, I'm lucky. Eh, I don't really help her here. Oh, wait, that should be a free kill. Oh, there's a lot of traps though. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's not real. You're gonna get him killed. W, 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 W. Okay. Okay. Wait, not bad, not bad. Okay, no flash on this guy. I don't know where Lee Sin is. Probably warden. He might be on void grips. Maybe we gotta check it out. Oh, that's a void grip. Oh, no, wait. That's a rift held. No! Okay. Oh my gosh. I have a lot of minions top. Man, I really want to kill him if he goes for that. I already lost the minions. Screw it. Let's see if he goes for it. Do you want to go for anything? What? No one here. How would they get here? Oh, there is someone here. Oh, it's Warden. Okay, let's take this. Recall here. Do not hit that, please. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll top our top. This wave is just so bad. It's gonna slow push, and I don't want to lose a ton of minions. One more, one more, one more. You just see so much damage you can do. Try to kill Turret, maybe. 
No, 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 please, 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 please. Oh, he interrupted my, oh, my jump. Ah! Oh my gosh. Wait, he doesn't have ult, does he? Bro, somebody misplays this game. Holy shit. I mean, uh, excuse me. Ah! Okay. Please send bot side. Let's give the scene. You have no arm. Nope. Get ult. Oh. Or not ult, but flash is what I was thinking about. <laughs> so yeah, like flash flip could be really scary. Oh my god, this game is so scary. What the heck? Alright, I'm just, I, I really like to lean into, like, the reason, I think one of the things, like, you'll see me do a lot on the climbs, like, split a lot, it's a lot easier to out, to, like, perform outplays when it's, like, a 1v2, like, 1v1, 1v2s are easier to outplay, because you can manage, like, if you're a higher skill, if you have a high skill variance, uh, it's a lot easier to, to keep track of and play around, like, two people at the same time. Yeah, trying to do that, if you get into like a 1v5, it gets to the point where you're just overwhelmed and there's not actually that much outplaying you can do. But when there's just a couple players and you're just playing around like eight abilities, then there's outplay. You outplay through movement, you can like move in ways that just like... Oh! This time. Oops. Oh no. Holy moly, so scary. Shut down. Okay. No word, no word. Is that one I ever said? Um, I mean, I got no R. I got no R, TF no R. That means I can, if I got doesn't have R, then I can just fight them from like low HP and it's not really a big deal. Cause I just have to move correctly. As long as I move correctly, I win. He doesn't have the way to finish me. Again, if you had ult, it'd be really scary, but because you already used it, not so scary. Okay, I wanted him to run out. Oh man. Get flash. Need Meganar. I'm just gonna keep letting him just run around with him a little bit. With the Ian, stay with him. Send him. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. no, brother, where are you going, my friend? Lisa might be over here. No, Lisa's right there. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are goofing. All right, we have all. Oh, we have item. We have item. God, Norris is so fun. I can't like express how much fun the champion is. It's so fun. I like uh. So yeah, well, I guess items like Trinity Force makes a lot of sense. Um, you, it gives everything you want. You get mood speed, you get some extra damage, you get attack speed, damage, health, ability. It's literally everything you could ever want on NAR. Very well rounded, very good. Black Cleaver. Um, again, different movement speed. So you get a Fervor and you get Quicken, which are both 20 movement speed, but they're different. You get both. Again, NAR really likes movement speed. And then uh, you also get, you know, more AD health. You really like AD health and ability haste and movement speed on this guy. The top or bottom? Nah, there's no need. We say top. Work on the top tier two. Top tier two is worth a lot of gold. And then Seric Sage. Like, Seric Sage makes a lot of sense, especially in Urgot. Um, you know, getting that big shield before he can get you into X key range. Really valuable. We haven't seen Shaco any. 
I'm gonna need some attack, some uh, magic resist. Now, one cool, nice, oh, minus one. Um, nice thing about Gnar is you can go Wits End for your MR item. It feels really good. Extra damage, more attack speed. Oh, uh, I can get this, but I don't really want to take more damage. We'll least send TF running up. But we don't know where the bot lane is yet. Uh, that's annoying. I kind of do need to be bot. I mean, Baron. Uh, no, top's right, actually, because Drake's funny in a minute. This Baron, no one's going to pull Baron in the next minute. I expect their Shaco and their MF will want to try to kill me. I do have Flash, so I could go for, like, the outplay. See so you three men. Do I navigate my way in MF? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh. Hang out. I didn't expect there to be so many people. Like, it doesn't really make sense for Urgot to run top with uh, MF already in the lane. But that was a little bit. That was a little bit of a shock. Whoa! What the heck? Okay. This is kind of like the Loyola shenanigans. Both teams want Drake, so it's kind of weird that MF still here. Again, this is what I was talking about. Like, this is like outplayable. Wait! No! I didn't have R. I thought my R was up. I went in because I, I thought I had R. Ah, jeez. So that's what we call misplay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think if I have a ult there, though, it actually works out. It's really annoying. I can't E. I should have flashed over maybe the not. I need to flash over the Urgot flip. It's so annoying that his flip interrupts your, your jump. I think it's been really frustrating to play around and something I'm not used to. So one thing I'm trying to learn in this matchup specifically, because I haven't really played this match before. Because um, when I used to play Nar, it was our old Urgot, actually. That's how long ago I played Nar. Um, I have to get I have to get better about like not not doing that, right? Just not eating into Urgot when he has his flip. Because he's always gonna flip me on my E. But I cannot be doing that. It's so throwy. I needed to like maybe bait the E from Urgot, position a way to bait the E, flash over it, and then ult. Like there are uh, ways I could play around it. Of course the fail flash is like the freaking cherry on top. That's right. Okay. These are the kind of misplays you're okay to make early on with a champion. As long as you improve. Yeah, we did get... Uh, also, we get Drake. So if you think about it, my death was, you know, obviously worth. Uh, we get Drake. And they we never would have gotten Drake if I didn't die there. There's no other way around it. Okay, so what are y'all doing here? All right, there's some good Uh, there's a lot of people mid. I wasn't sure where anyone else would be. Like, I, it's hard to tell, like, who's gonna be here if Shaco and Lee Sin are here, which is kind of weird. Yep. Man! Oh, no. I thought for sure, um, that was not the real one. <laughs> Checking to see if, uh, Shaco's in there. Be in here? No? Okay. Shut down. Why is she coming mid? Uh, Tiff might have ult on spawn. Oh my gosh! That damage! What? Okay. Yeah, I definitely need some uh, MR next. So we'll go Wits End next. Dang. I, I went for the Fleet Footwork heal. Hoping that'd be enough. It was not. We're holding him up on Argot, though. That's really big. Ooh. 
on spawn, we're going to go. I mean, Malphite's already top, so we should probably just, we'll just have to go bot, which is fine. I mean, I guess it's kind of awkward, though, because Drake's spawning. You should kill Urgoth, though, right? You could teleport mid. Killing Meph would be massive. Oh, no, never mind. I'm up there. Okay, good. This, is, this has been such a sloppy game. I guess it's an indication of how the series is going to go. It should be interesting. All right, let's cover mid. We're just dying randomly. I need a sweeper. Shake it. Bomba! Oh wait, no Bomba? Okay. Oh, we got both. Okay, cool. Oh my god, this game is... I, I don't know what to tell y'all. This game is wacky. Oh no! Oh no, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Wait, 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 we could actually lose. Okay, I have to, I have to play better. What are we doing? We need Drake. I can teleport to Drake on spawn. I can teleport to Drake. We could also not teleport to Drake. My team should be able to just like not let them get it, and then I can go bot. Try to like one v two, one v like one v just one v one would be good at this point. Honestly, I'd be, just be happy with one v one. So I would like win. That'd be good. I need to get a sweeper. It's good to see. Thank you. Then yep, beaming bong. Oh, that should be a free kill. Should be a free kill. Just go ahead and W. Okay. Nope, it's fine. You could you could have got him, but it's okay. He doesn't have R, or maybe he does now. In a minute. Okay, we're gonna go bot. This is worth sweeper. I don't need to rush this real quick. I flash. I could do a flash combo. Nice. I don't want to go sub TF, but also when I kill them all here. I guess we'll go sub TF. I'm not sure who the real one is. I don't really know how to mess around with it. Gifts being annoying. Holy moly. Yes! Yes! No, please, please. Okay, good. Oh my god, we're, dude, we're trying to try so hard. Holy moly. Oh no, please. Oh no, you're dead. You're dead. You're not dead. I don't think this is a Baron angle, actually. No, please. Okay. Wait, do have, can we get a tier 2? A tier 2 would be big, but MF's up. Witsum would be so important. Wait, don't get that turret. We, we need local gold on these shirts. These shirts are worth a lot, but only if you get the local gold. Oh, I think we're going to lose it. Oh no. Oh, Kane should have gotten that local gold. I should have run down for it. I have to go bot. So, we were good to recall. And yeah, then we'll be really nice to help with. The, oh my god, we're going to do a Baron throw. Let's not do a Baron throw right now. Except for this. Let our team know hey, the best play is just to play for this tree. Be pretty good. Rewards. I don't want to pop back because it tells them that I'm around. I don't really want them to know I'm. I should get some attention. No, don't be down here, buddy, 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 buddy. You can't show here. You cannot show here. Oh, 
Okay, cool. All team. Woohoo! Okay, we got five men bot. My team's not gonna like threaten anything. That's okay, honestly. Just the fact that the enemy team all came bot kind of pretty good for us. So Jinx can never be bot. I need to split push, and by and like if she shows bot, the enemy team can get a pick. They could go Baron. They can do so many things, and she just doesn't really do anything. And she just creates a lot of issues. So I was like, you cannot be bot right now, my queen. Okay. My team got picked a lot in mid. I'm gonna create pressure because what they enemy teams don't want to do is they're gonna be like, oh, we should go Baron or something like that. And I'm gonna be like, uh, eh, maybe they won't go Baron if I show bot. Which they're not. I see them rotating here now. Oh, not bad. I don't have Meganar soon. I do have Woodset and Gold. We have Kane nearby. I'm not fighting here. I get Lee Sin kicked though. Yeah. Really gotta get Woodset. I'll get a much hold. I was like, yeah, I'll clear this way and then I'll go back and uh, prep for Drake. Yeah, I'm scared. Just Shaco's hanging around. Shaco could easily do like the hop over to see if I'm there, see him there, and then I get picked. I mean, that could happen here too. We're gonna get this and a potion would be pretty decent. We need to keep mid push. Oh, this is not a good play though. You need to run. If you run and bait some stuff, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's not. Ooh. Again, baiting stuff but not actually dying is pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. Get in there. Chico's causing a lot of problems for us. We don't really want to flip this at all. Yeah, TF is just doing annoying TF things. Flip pushing. Like, TF got a solo kill. Kind of awkward. That's really good. It's fake. Frick off, man! Gosh, dude. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think we actually can't go Baron now. Drake is so important. Pull up off these. I'll actually let Jinx get a lot of this. Zyra is really good for killing Baron, too. E just for uh, attack speed, so you can increase more damage. Oh. Brother, just go. Why did you back up? No way. Turning. I thought they were turned. Fine. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah. Uh, bronze players just like overchase. Like they should never have. They, the lower the elo, the player. The less awareness they have of like when they need to stop chasing people. So they just end up over chasing. Like they have no right to ever like over chase there. And the longer they chase me, the more it gives my team time to rotate over. That's exactly what happened. I just stalled out. I kept them kinda kinda hanging out. Well I think a bot with the Yanks. 
And I really like triple in heaven these kind of games. Yeah, the kind of games can get a little wacky, and if you don't, you don't really do the high like percentage win rate things. Um, sometimes they can turn. The high percent win rate thing is just to go for the um, triple in it. So hard to defend. Got that. Oops. <laughs> TF has been a problem, so I want to make sure I can kill him pretty quick. Wait, he was only 2 and 15? Oh, never mind. He wasn't a problem at all, actually. Oh my god, what a game, dude. What a game, too. I did everything. I had me misplaying egregiously. I had a wacky plays. Uh, yeah, team did a good job over around, all around. Holy moly, that was so hard. And not because, like, the players. It's just, like, I didn't play that great. And that's what we're gonna see. That's the thing. Me learning a new champ, it's not gonna be the cleanest thing ever. That's part of the that's part of the y'all have seen me when I started playing Allow, y'all already saw me hit like I was already challenger with Allow before I started making content. But I'm not challenger with other champs. You get to see like that that roughness, the learning curve. Now you see, even though I did blunder a few times or sure got I saw a really good uh lead, and that was based on the CS. If you look at throughout the game, I had high CS lead throughout most of the game versus uh, Ergot. What was the CS diff? 277 to 126, yeah. So I, I managed to get a good gold lead, even though I was not, like, I was kind of being goofy. I got solo gold ones. Oh, well. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all next time.